top 25 percent. Here in Bloomsburg is a lovely it place is. called the Pump House Bed and Breakfast. It's a beautiful treasure hidden right here in the countryside. And on the property is a great art studio. And we're going to meet the artist and find out what he creates. I'd like for you to meet Doug Hopkins. And of course, you are the artist in residence here. <laughs> Actually, you are a resident here. Um, this is a great studio. We're so thrilled to be here. Great. Well, thanks for coming. And why don't you tell everybody um, what you do, what your art is? Well, I do a variety of things. I do painting and sculpture, and um, I also do printmaking. But today I'm working on a very large mural for a kitchen backsplash. And we have made most of the tiles for it, but we have a few more to make. I thought maybe you could help me make a few if you're Excellent. interested. you mind getting your hands a little dirty? I love it. Okay, <laughs> good. Well, we can get started then. All right, sounds good. I'll make one first. Sure, I think so. <laughs> All right. And it's not too complicated. So you just, like, this is a clay, like a certain type of clay? Yeah, this is a low fire earthenware clay. All right. And it's a white body, of course. And we also work with a red body, too, depending on what kind of glaze you're using. Uh, it kind of depends on what clay you use, too. The glazes are turn out differently with whichever <laughs> glaze you're using. And all you do is push down. All right. It's good to weigh a little bit, though. You, use your body weight. So the designs on the tile, is that something that um, they yeah. can, you can buy or could you create those yourself as Actually, well? Actually, I sculpted all the designs. Wow. This particular design is called Forest Walk and it, it represents tr indigenous trees of Pennsylvania. Oh, nice. So it has seven different tree branches that are intercrossing just as you were walking through the woods oh, I and like experiencing that. the native foliage. And um, in this design too, I also added some little features that the customer wanted. She wanted some frogs, of course, the water, you know, oh, so she has fun. a frog on either side of the sink. So, mm -hmm. all right, I'll get you started here. Okay. Are you ready? I think so. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you right. slide under there. You just do halfway. Let's push this. Yep, just all your weight. You can hang on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good if you do some push ups before you yeah, come in. Yeah, yeah. It's a good way to okay. work out. Yeah, you don't need to go to the gym either. No, I like that. <laughs> All right, All right let's see what happened here. You think you can cut it off? You can cut off? Um, or just push that forward. Yeah. It's like a big cheese cutter, yeah, basically. I think so. There we go. All okay, right. Let's see. Now, usually in about 15 minutes, you can release them. So I did some a little earlier. Okay. It's sort of like a cooking show. You take the dish out of the Exactly. Oven. You got it. So then you can pop it out. <gasps> oh, and there it is. See the, and that's part of a branch. I think I have a couple more here. So uh huh. Then what uh -huh. has to happen next? Well, then you let them dry and air dry, usually a week or so. Then they become completely dried and they're ready for the kiln. And that's called greenware. And you put them in a kiln, you mm -hmm. heat them up to about 1900 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's called the bisque. All right, well, I'm going to start doing a little glazing demonstration here. So I'm going to put one glaze on. This black glaze is black iron oxide. And you, normally it just needs one coat like that? Yeah, like one that? coat. And then we actually are going to take, with a sponge, you take most of it back off again. Now, does it, it doesn't come out black, does it? It comes out as a little black. Right, coat. it doesn't come out black. We're actually going for a tile that looks like, like this oh, one. Oh, wow. Even though it's black, it, it actually turns like out that. white. No, it doesn't. So it kind of fools you. Yeah. Now, what does this glaze do? This is a clear, and it basically um, covers up all the colors, and it gives you that glossy all right. Classic so you don't even have to wait till it dries in between. You just you can do all this right. process yeah. at once. It, the, the clay is very porous. You want to try one now? Sure. The clay is very porous and it soaks up all the water. The chemicals are held in suspension with water basically and then the clay is porous. It, dry, it absorbs the water and then... Uh, is that okay? Should I get that dipped in? Oh, again? that's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and when they get glazed, then mm -hmm. we basically put them back in the kiln again and make sure they don't touch. And again, go to a little more than 1,900 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. Which is a really bright red heat. Yeah. And then uh, after about eight hours of firing and eight hours cooling down or so, we take them out. The work piece I'm working on here in the foreground is this big backsplash uh, for a kitchen. This is the, the color they picked oh, out. Oh, that's so nice. So I've got to make sure all of these are consistent. So it's, it's better that one person, if not me, or somebody else yeah. does all the glazing so um, you get, get the right amount wiped off each time. I see time. some other examples here. 
This is beautiful. This looks like it could be kind of a border or something. Exactly. Like a tile shaped. Yep. It's a bull, bull nose, and it's a border for the top of the tile. It would go oh. right up here, and it would finish off your edge wall. It's a vine pattern. There's four different ones that interlock, so it creates this continuous pattern going along the top. And those um, like who commission your work, they could choose the colors, right? You have sure. different... Sure. Yeah, um, and I do cu custom colors, too, if they had certain colors in mind. That Doug, if there's anybody who's interested in some of your work, why don't you tell us uh, what you do? You also do um, other things as well. Sure, I do uh, stained glass fabrication and design in here too. So we make uh, large panels up to uh, sometimes double doors for houses, wow. entryways, uh, really anything people need in stained glass. And I usually again design it to fit a particular architecture or colors. Now I'd like for you to meet the other half of the team here. This is Marika, um, the <laughs> husband and wife team. Marika, uh, you and Doug have the Pump House Bed and Breakfast, which is really spectacular. Why don't you tell us about it? We have two private three-room suites, which are separated by the yard, mm -hmm. so you are all alone. Right. And have your privacy and, and you know and, and quiet place. Um, Doug has repurpose them also mm -hmm. to be uh, fully functioning f as far as um, a kitchen, mm -hmm. bathroom, you can cook your own meals, um, we have a fire ring out back and of course people can play in the creek. Uh, he made the tile for the backsplashes and um, they're individually controlled as far as heat and air conditioning right. as well so everybody's comfortable. Well Jackie, this room was used for an industrial purpose at the turn of the last century and there were huge uh, steam engines mm -hmm. and there were big burly guys that had to <laughs> shovel coal right. into these engines to keep them going all day long and now Doug has transformed it into what we call the celebration space mm -hmm. uh, which we can use for wedding receptions and family reunions and stuff like that. It's so nice because it's it's just so secluded and everything is just decorated just, it's just lovely. Mm -hmm. So it's a great place to come for a, for a nice getaway. Mm -hmm. And um, why don't you give everybody the website so if they're interested in reservations. The website again is www.pumphousebnb.com. We also have a presence on Facebook if they want to try to find us, Pump House sure. B&B on Facebook. And the phone number again is 570-784-6730. Marisa, Doug, thank you so much for having us. Oh, thanks for making the trip out.